The American Legislative Exchange Council, also known as ALEC, is snatching up public employees' jobs, and they're also hurting small businesses. And ha the, the way that they're doing that is they are transferring jobs over to prison laborers. Oh, fantastic, because... You know, we weren't close enough to slave labor. Let's just get right to it, right? This is, this is literally modern version of slave labor. What they're doing is they are having uh, prisoners, okay, do the work that public employees are doing now, except prisoners do it for free or they do it for like 20 cents an hour. Yeah, let's be fair now. 20 cents an hour. I mean, isn't that a livable wage? Eh, they're in prison anyway. What difference does it make? We, they have to do it. We can force them to do it. What, who else did we used to force to do labor? Hmm, let me try to remember, okay? And they say, but hey, out of the goodness of our heart, we're providing shelter for them in prison. And that's part of their compensation. No, but you know what they're saying? They're saying, oh, well, you know, these people are in prison. Tax dollars are helping to fund them, so they're in prison. It Doesn't it make sense to make them work and pay off their debt? Like, that's the way that they try to sell it. But it's a vicious cycle. Let me explain to you how they do this. So what ALEC does is it works with state legislators to pass extremely tough on crime legislation, okay? So uh, they are in favor of the drug war. They worked with state legislators in Arizona to pass SB 1070. And what they want to do is they want to have more and more people imprisoned, right? So these private prisons make a huge profit off of that. Now, what happens after that? Since so many people are in jail, states accumulate huge deficits, right? Mm -hmm. So since they have these deficits, what do they need to do? They need to find a way to pay for it. And a good way to save money is to stop paying public employees and have these prisoners do the same jobs for free or essentially no money at all, like 20 cents to a dollar an hour. So this is not speculation. You can actually trace the legislation. It comes from this business lobby and it goes straight to the Republican lawmakers, and it becomes acts. It's traced in a series of articles in the nation in these times, uh, and the list goes on and on. It's very well documented. Uh, two of the biggest groups in this group, in, in ALEC, are Corrections Corporation of America and the GEO Group. They're formerly known as Wackenhut uh, Corrections. They're the two largest uh, private uh, prison companies in the country. And what they do is they do things like the Prison Industries Act, and they have the Republicans pass it. So what it does is it creates more and more prisons for these private pr prisoners for these private prisons. For example, uh, they wrote SB 1070 in Arizona, the one that uh, would it make it illegal not to have your papers with you. Right. You know, the, the famous case in Arizona where they're going to ask everybody for their papers. And, of course, these two corporations will benefit greatly from it, from it because you'll have much more prisoners. And they're the ones who wrote it. So now this is a great uh, crime, basically, in our system. Because our system has been so corrupted that these private companies simply buy the politicians, they get them to pass any laws that they like, they create more prisoners, and then they turn around, profit off the prisoners, and then make them do nearly slave labor and profit off of that as well. Just to give you some more information on this, right now in Arizona, what they're trying to do is build more um, fences along the border, right? And one way that they're doing that is they're having prisoners do it for free. Right. Now, now, just think about that for a second, okay? Legislators in Arizona passed SB 1070, so Mexicans get imprisoned, and then those same Mexicans are used to build fences for the borders for virtually no money. Well, it's, you know, it's brilliant in its uh, depravity. And, you know, it, it, by the way, on drug laws, of course, these companies and ALEC is pushing for tougher and tougher drug laws. Why? They need more prisoners for their private prisons and they're for their uh, companies that continue to make money. By the way, one of the things that gets hurt, small businesses. Absolutely. Like some print shops, for example, that are now the prisoner, the prison companies are competing with are getting run out of business in states like Florida uh, because they're small business. They can't keep up with this large business which has bought the government and allowed them to have an advantage where their workers get paid 20 cents an hour. How in the world could you compete with that? We're worried about competing with China? Are you kidding me? I you know. can't compete with the prison companies. That, and that's another thing that I found fascinating. Alex's response to all of this is what? At least we're not outsourcing jobs. <laughs> yeah, well, they're literally insourcing them. They put them inside prisons where they can't move at all and make them work for them. No, I mean, this is capitalism gone wrong. This is the worst parts of capitalism on steroids. Look, 
this can be prevented. It doesn't mean capitalism is wrong. The main thing you have to prevent is corporations buying politicians. If you let them purchase politicians, of course they will rig all the rules completely in their favor, including getting nearly free labor and destroying all other businesses. See, it doesn't help capitalism. Corporatism, once it, corporations are born, their job is to kill their parents, which is capitalism, because they hate free markets. They don't want competition. They want to destroy the competition. So the minute they're hatched, if you allow them to buy politicians, they use the politicians to kill off all their competitors, especially small businesses. And then we wonder, why do we have high unemployment? One, you killed the small businesses, and two, you're hiring prisoners at 20 cents an hour. Why would anybody else hire uh, regular Americans at real wages? Exactly. No, no, look, the more you look into this group, Alec, the more you see that it is at the heart of the beast.